Hello and uh, welcome back to the channel. So today I'm uh, working on my metal cutting bandsaw and this is one of those uh, you know Chinese type 4x6 or 6x4 uh, bandsaws. Uh, pretty common I think. But I've had a bit of an issue with this one for a while. I've had it kind of cutting pretty straight after doing some modifications but I wanted to get down and uh, fix the, the problem properly. So let me uh, zoom in a little bit and I'll show you what the issue is, if you haven't noticed it already. So here I've tried to align the camera up straight down the middle of the channel here. And as you can see the blade, uh, this piece here, is not in line. Now I had this issue from ever since I bought the bandsaw, it was second hand when I bought it. And the previous owner had put some shims on the other side where the spring mount bracket bolts to this uh, top arm here. And what that effectively did is it pulled the arm more, so you know instead of being out there pulled it more in that way. But the shims pulled it a lot more in so we we're able to get it you know lined up in that groove pretty good. It was still a little bit crooked but pretty good. So I think there's two issues with this. The first is the bar that this um, hinges on at the back here, I don't think is uh, square to, you know, the frame coming this way straight up and down. And the second issue is that there is play in here. There is quite a bit of play. So I'm going to pull it all apart and then we'll go and uh, have a closer look at uh, what the issue is there. The camera doesn't do much justification for this but uh, the distance between the center of this bar and the edge here and the center of the bar and the edge here um, It's shorter this end here. So effectively the Hinge is on an angle, you know exaggerating um, but like that and That's what's forcing that arm out on a weird angle that way Now there is some play in here um, And I mean that's to be expected it's a little bit worn on the hinge bar here as well, uh, so you know that would contribute to it. So this end here I've got a lot of play. Um, but the end over here is pretty good and I've checked this in the arm as well and the holes in the arm are, are good, so a little bit like this side. So I think there's two issues here. Uh, the first is there is play in here, maybe a bit of play on this bar um, and that can cause it to swing out and the reason why is because when this piece is on it has a big heavy spring um, that pulls on this bracket which is connected to the arm so it's effectively pulling the arm that way. So basically that fits on there, the arm is on here, and the spring is pulling the arm uh, on an angle that way. So that's probably wearing the back side of the hole here out in there. And that's, I would say, why we have a bit of slack in there, or a bit of play. So I want to just see where we're at with how crooked this is to the you know, uh, the saw guide that we saw earlier up here. And I'm going to put a bit of steel up there and I'm going to put it straight in that saw guide and then I'll be able to use a square on the steel to see where we're at with, um, you know, these holes uh, being aligned uh, in relation to this frame moving up and down this way. All right, so I've got this uh, steel straight bar down the center of the um, blade guide and I've made some measurements um, 
from here to the edge um, and also way at the top here on the left that you can't see in the frame but from there to the edge as well so I'm pretty happy that this bar is fairly much parallel uh, to the to the frame now if I bring the square up and get it kind of uh, close at the top end here you can now see the gap you know between this bar and the square at the bottom end here so it's uh, you know sort of on an angle like that and I don't think that's um, supposed to be right so I can understand why the person who had it before me had a lot of um, you know washers and stuff spacing this out so effectively they were trying to align the swinging swinging arm back uh, to be um, parallel with the with the frame here so now the question is how do we fix it and given that um, you know there's not much play in this hole up on this side um, and all the plays here and probably a little bit on the shaft there as well I could make a new shaft and definitely going to have to put some sort of bushing in here I think and I think we can sort of uh, you know kill two birds with one stone here and make the bushing and we can offset the hole a little bit so that it is more square with the with the frame instead of being a, you know on an angle like that and i think the way to do that is to um probably file out the front of the hole on this side here and try and get it round but more offset forward at the side and then you know re-drill it from that point and hopefully that will um that will get it in the, a better position than what it's been in Okay, so I think I roughed out the hole here good enough. Uh, it's just cast iron, so it didn't take too much time at all, to be honest. Um, so what I've done is I've pushed it right to the back of the hole, and I've put the square on and just sort of eyed up the angle we have there. And then I've filed out the uh, front of the hole here, and when I push it forward on that, then I line up the what sort of angle we have I want to get the angles the same so that when I center the hole um, it should be in the middle and it should be square if that makes sense Okay, so I've got the uh, bush made up, I've put it in here, and I've set the, um, the bar up here again, nice and parallel to the frame, and now 
uh, I think we got quite a good result here. So if I come right across to there, then you can see the top and the bottom. It's pretty much right angles uh, to the frame now. So I'm going to put the arm back on and uh, see how that lines up. I've got the arm all back assembled and uh, got a shot here of what we've done. So we've got the bush in there, as you can see. There wasn't a lot of meat on here, so I'm just hoping that casting doesn't get broken. Also made up a, um, a washer in here. There was kind of a, I don't know, couldn't really call it a washer, it's like a cut off piece of thin wool tubing that was in here. It wasn't very good, so I made up a decent washer for there. And you can see here we've got a much better result now. It is still a little bit closer on this side than it is up on this side here. I, you know, I just probably can't do much more about it to be honest. I think it was probably a manufacturing error and or maybe those spaces were put in there by the factory, I'm, I'm not really sure. I actually had to put one more washer, spacer washer back in uh, around the other side because it was a little bit a little bit worse than this but um, it, I've got it pretty pretty close to being straight so I mean it's not that much of an, an issue to be honest because the fence will be set square to the blade so you know it doesn't matter um, if it's not completely parallel with this line here um, as long as the fence is square to the blade, um, that way you'll get square cuts. And this is where the space has been put. Um, so there's a, little, there's a little washer sits in between these two surfaces here, whereas this surface is um, bolted up tight against it. So there's a big gap in here last time, you know, before we did the modification, which was pushing this part away from this part which in turn made the arm more come that way uh, to keep it straight. So we've got uh, pretty much all of the spaces out apart from one there and I think that's probably the best I can get done with this so I'll get everything back together again and we'll uh, get it running and probably need to do some other alignment adjustments uh, once I get the motor and everything back on. So just one more thing to show you here. Uh, before I did this modification we had quite a bit of slop in there. Um, right now, I mean, if, <clears throat> I don't know if you can see that on the camera, but if you see any movement it's just um, the pressure on the pin. There's absolutely no movement like there was before with the worn shaft. And I think the reason for that is this hole, um, you know, was probably drilled through in the factory, albeit on an angle uh, to this hole. So what I did is I squared up this hole, but this hole was still on an angle and I couldn't bore this hole out anymore. Um, if I was going to use the same size pin. So what's happened is I'm able to get the pin over enough and into here um, to get it all through and assembled. And what that means is that that's, um, you know, made it quite tight in this, uh, in this bushing here. So there's no movement here because I've put a new bushing. Um, there's no slop in this one either. So it's absolutely smooth to, to move and there's absolutely no movement sideways here. So it's uh, quite a good result in the end.
So as part of this uh, fix, I just wanted to check out the alignment of the uh, blade here as well. Now there's a bolt in the bottom here, and one at the top. And these um, blade guides can be uh, twisted round to align the blade. And we really want the blade um, straight up and down, uh, you know, as it's, as it's cutting. And you'll find that if they're out of alignment, your cuts will uh, become crooked. So I've gone ahead there and uh, lined everything up, so that's nice and straight. But I just wanted to mention that um, sometimes you don't get enough adjustment here, and there can be uh, a couple of issues there. Rob from the Xanadu channel uh, has a good video on, you know, aligning everything on these bandsaws. He has a, actually a bunch of videos on these 4x6 bandsaws, so I won't go into too much detail, but if you want to look at you know, his videos to find out more about tuning up your bandsaws, they're uh, a good place to start. And there was one piece of advice that I just did as part of this upgrade as well. And that is the washer for the bolt that holds this blade guide on. So typically you get very thin washers here. And there is usually a very big hole in here so that, you know, there is some adjustment uh, to move this around. And with the thin, small washers, they get bent into the hole um, and forced down, and, and that can cause uh, alignment issues. So, you know, I took uh, Rob's advice here and um, just made some, I think these are about four and a half millimeters thick, and they're uh, 25 millimeters wide. And they fit in there well, and they don't rub on the bearing way in the back here. You might not be able to see that. But anyway, that's um, yeah, just another modification I did with this hinge uh, upgrade that I wanted to share with you. Thanks for watching.